Hello, my name is James Dodd, Lead Industry Liaison Advisor, and I'll be talking to you today about the impact of future fuels on lubricating oil formulations. While IMO 2020 was one of the largest changes that the marine fuels and lubes industry had seen in many years, yet even greater change is coming. The drive to reduce greenhouse gas emissions means that the adoption of lower carbon fuels, as well as greater engine efficiency, will be needed going into the future. And when transportation accounts for a significant proportion of global greenhouse gas emissions, it is no surprise that it is ever more important to reduce those emissions while maintaining the delivery of global freight. Here we see just how big that portion is. And as we look into more detail, we shall see that this proportion of greenhouse gas emissions consists mainly of on-highway sources of greenhouse gas. In comparison, the large engine industry accounts for a much smaller part of this overall picture. So why should we care? While shipping and rail freight are still amongst the most efficient modes of transport per tonne mile, we can also see that trucks have improved efficiency to the extent that focus on the relatively higher polluting options has increased. Even with this consideration, shipping is by far the most economical means of moving mass cargo globally and across long distances especially compared to air cargo, which is the only other transoceanic option. An IMO study has shown that greenhouse gas emissions from global shipping are anticipated to rise through to 2050. And as this chart shows, there are a number of strategies which will need to be employed in order to meet the desired target. Business as usual is clearly not the answer. As we consider the options available to us to reduce the overall greenhouse gas emissions, we also need to consider how to facilitate their use in marine engine technology. Some options, such as gas and alcohols, are not too much of a stretch, but others, such as hydrogen and ammonia, present new challenges. There are still as many questions as there are answers for the additive and oil companies, as well as the OEMs and wider industry too. Some options, may be easier to define suitable technology for, whereas others will need much more careful consideration to properly enable their use. All of this means that we need to act now to be ready for the new fuels as they and the engine technology come into the market. As we can see here, it is not a one size fits all. And as new engine technology for future fuels becomes available, we will see the order book shift towards less conventional fuel and more lower carbon fuel options. Focusing a little now on the fuel options alone, we can see that some modeling predictions suggest that traditional fuel will be available to 2050 and beyond. What is significant is the growth in availability of zero carbon fuels such as hydrogen and ammonia, whereas LNG and LPG remain relatively stable. We must not forget that pilot fuel options will be required and that many of these will still be carbon based. So how might this impact lubricant formulation? Well, that depends on how quickly the transition to alternative fuels happens and therefore what is needed to lubricate them. In this example, we see how new generation 40 BN cylinder oils are expected to grow significantly depending on that uptake. So are we nearly there yet? Not quite. Ammonia is an interesting option for the industry and one which presents a number of challenges to be evaluated, not least of which is the very real need to determine if the use of these new fuels will harm the lubrication of the engine and to what extent. Only armed with that information will be able to assess today's technology and develop tomorrow's. While the engine manufacturers assess the impact of embrittlement in hydrogen engines or compatibility of ammonia with other engine components, Infinium is working to understand formulation options to enable the use of these fuels to maximize the opportunity for both two and four stroke engines in marine and power generation. Across the industry, we all have our part to play, and yet we have different stakes in the game. From the OEM concerned primarily with being able to burn the new fuels in the most energy efficient manner to the end users who will ultimately be paying for the new technology as a result of the IMO drive to decarbonize. Equally, the regulators who have to ensure that the needs are met, not only on vessels, but also in the supply of the future fuels to the vessels in a safe manner. 
All of this means that there are multiple arms, all pulling towards the same desired outcome. On top of this, the additional needs to enhance sustainability across the value chain will add extra pressure and considerations to all involved. Ultimately, only by working together will we be able to jointly develop the solutions to the overall aim, and in doing so, truly push down greenhouse gas emissions. Due to the global nature of the large engine industry, globally available solutions are required in order to maintain operation with reliability. This means that lubricant solutions should be available for purchase in every port that the vessel visits, and so too should the fuels that they need to burn. Currently, the infrastructure is not quite there yet, and so it's expected to improve over the next decade to accommodate refuelling options where needed. At Infinium, we are progressing in the fundamental understanding and development of new lubricant additive technology to address the challenges we all face and ensure that as new fuels become available to be used in new engines, so too the lubricant is ready and able to bring these changes together. The exact nature of these challenges is still being understood and the specifications for engines using future fuels are not fully clear. As lubricant developers, Infinium has joined industry consortia and we are exploring other opportunities Opportunities that will enable us to start to bring to greater clarity to the formulatory requirements of lubricants as the future becomes clearer. In closing, we have the tools and we have the means at our disposal. We also have the motive, and by working together, we can reach the desired outcome. Come and talk to us to find out more. We're more than happy to listen. <laughs>